Hey YouTube, it's uh, Dale Cooper here. I wanted to make this video to just kind of introduce you to my starter uh, precious metals collection. Um, and before I get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to a few fellow YouTubers. Um, you know, you guys, your videos have been really inspirational to me and really educational as I've tried to learn more about um, precious metals and bullion. And uh, I just want to make sure you guys understand that the you're having a very um, positive impact on people's lives and I hope you keep doing what you're doing. So in uh, no particular order, I just wanted to quickly thank uh, Green Urban Project, Jose, a.k.a. Hat Weird, Silverfish VT, and Golden Pharaoh. So um, first I wanted to quickly talk about a couple strategies I kind of thought I would employ in my head as I started getting serious about um, precious metals. Uh, the first was with regard to silver bullion. Um, you know, uh, personally, I've moved a lot um, Recently, I've lived in four different states in the past six years. So one of my major concerns was how much silver I would be accumulating. And as a result of that, I've been trying to focus my silver acquisitions in like uh, quote-unquote paper silver. Um, I have a couple self-directed retirement accounts, so I've been um, buying, you know, the fund of... My favorite fund is the Sprott Physical Silver Trust, uh, the symbols PSLV. Um, so I've been trying to keep my silver purchases um, focused there. I know a lot of you don't trust the paper silver funds, and I totally understand all those points, and I agree with a lot of them. It's just, you know, personally for me, um, I'm trying to avoid getting bogged down with pounds and pounds of the physical stuff. Um, but I have had a, like a lifelong love of silver, which I'll get into in a minute. And so, um, you know, I haven't completely stuck with that plan, and I probably will cave a little bit more going into the future. Uh, the second strategy is with regards to gold and platinum. Um, that's tr what I've been trying to focus on. Obviously, it's more difficult because of the much higher cost. Um, but basically, you know, whatever's cheaper, gold or platinum, I'm trying to purchase. Um, you know, typically platinum is higher than gold, but sometimes it dips down below. When that happens, I'll purchase platinum. Um, I know a lot of people think it's, you know, it's a uh, industrial metal, but um, I feel fairly confident in, um, you know, making bullion purchases in platinum. Um, so to start with, just in the front row there, you'll see um, a bunch of junk silver that I've had most of my life. I got the majority of this from my grandma when I was a kid. Um, there's some uh, half dollars, 90% Kennedys, and uh, Walking Liberties, and a piece dollar, and then just a pile of mostly 90% um, dimes, quarters, and some war nickels also. Um, and she was really the first one to, you know, give me the impression that keeping these old coins would be useful one day, and, you know, the value of silver. Um, then over here we have a couple uh, one ounce bullion pieces. The first is a one ounce Engelhard bar, which again I've had most of my life. Um, I think I bought that when I was probably 10 or 11. Um, there was a coin shop in the town I grew up in that also sold baseball cards, which I was really into as a kid. Uh, and so I would go there to buy baseball cards and a couple times I went with my dad and you know they sold gold and silver also. And you know then my dad was kind of the second one to kind of impress on me the importance of silver and you know he would always say these baseball cards you think are valuable but if you want something that's really gonna last you should buy some silver and so a couple times I did the first was that Engelhard bar and then I also purchased uh, this one ounce round I'm not sure what this thing is I assume it's some generic piece uh, and I actually have in here Um, when I bought it, I wrote down, so I bought it on January 2nd, 1992. I was 11 years old at the time. Paid four fifty, and the price of silver that day, as you can see here, was three ninety seven, up six cents. So, um, you know, even at the age of 11, my parents were really making an impression on me that silver was important, and, um, you know, those pieces are really valuable to me just because I've had them most of my life. And um, that really gives you an idea for how much it's appreciated over the last couple decades. Um, so above it, I've got a couple 
silver maple leaves. Uh, everybody knows these. There's the queen and the maple leaf. Um, these are actually one of my favorite um, government minted coins. I'm not thrilled about looking at the queen, but um, you know, for all the reasons that people cite the four nine purity and the uh, five dollar face value and you know I, I don't personally think either one of those factors is a big deal but when they cost a little bit less than the silver eagles then you might as well go with those um, but I do have one eagle that I just got recently um, and again everybody knows what this looks like but you know this is just like probably one of the most beautiful coins I think and um, everybody's got to have at least one. Um, and then up here, I recently got a two ounce uh, Mexican Libertad uh, 2012. Um, this is another one of my favorite coins. Um, I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I would actually wouldn't mind getting, they have some bigger sizes of five ounce up to a kilo, but. For some reason, it seems like once you get above the two ounce, the premiums just go through the roof. So, to me, it's not worth paying, you know, forty dollars an ounce for a kilo coin. Um, but the two ounce was about the same as, you know, a one ounce on a per ounce basis. So uh, I got the bigger coin just because I think it's beautiful. Um, and then over here we have some gold and platinum. Uh, the first one I bought was a quarter ounce gold Atmex piece. Um, and I recently picked up a 10 gram Pomp Suisse bar. Again, these are just beautiful. Got the serial number. Uh, I'd like to get some one ounce gold pieces in the future, but you know, the price is pretty high and I'm on a limited budget. Uh, and then the last piece that I have that I bought last year when platinum was cheaper than uh, gold was a quarter ounce, is it going to focus? A quarter ounce uh, American, American Eagle, Platinum Eagle. So uh, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm going to try to update these as I get more. Again, I'm trying to focus on gold and platinum, but I, you know, I, I, like I said, I've kind of had the silver bug my whole life, so I'm, I'm sure uh, I'll wind up accumulating more silver. So uh, anyway, if you have any comments or um, anything like that, let me know in the comments, and I will talk to you later.